And Assam Chief Minister Himanta Bishwa Sharma today said that the Nadi Conclave 3.0 will go a long way in creating an integral economy and an integral society. Sharma said that in the rapidly changing geopolitical situation, better cooperation and connectivity through judicious use of natural resources in an ecological manner is the key for overall prosperity of the region. The Nodi 3.0 dialogue organized by ASEAN Confluence in collaboration with Ministry of External Affairs, Government of India and the Government of Assam is indeed a remarkable initiative. It aims at promoting the high potential sector of sub-regional cooperation in BBIN, ASEAN and BIMSTEC region. I believe that these matters have indeed witnessed tremendous amount of deliberation which shall go a long way in creating the right apparatus to attempt for an integral economy and an integral society. In the rapidly changing geopolitical scenario of the world today, better cooperation and connectivity with judicious use of natural resources in a far-sighted and ecologically sound manner is the key for overall prosperity of our region. The broad areas of cooperation that Conclave has emphasized connectivity, conservation, commerce, culture, and capacity building are in fact central to our mutual growth. And Imanthu Bishwa Sharma also added that Assam has made the best efforts to give a tangible shape to the connectivity aspect with the ASEAN region through roadways, railways, and airways. In the meantime, Sharma said that inland waterways is undergoing revolutionary change. The Assam Chief Minister pointed out that modernization of ports, procurement of new vessels, amongst others, is going on under special package of the World Bank. Here I would like to reiterate that we have made best effort to give a tangible shape to our connectivity with the ASEAN and Bangladesh through roadways, railways and airways. As I had mentioned, Inland water is today witnessing revolutionary change. Under a World Bank project, we are modernizing our ports and vessels. We are getting modern jetties and state-of-the-art riverine port terminals. The recent agreement with Bangladesh allowing our ships to use the Bangladesh riverine roads and marine ports add more impetus to our endeavors. Meanwhile, Chief Minister Himanta Bishwa Sharma also heaped praise on Prime Minister Narendra Modi for pioneering the Act East policy. Today, due to the Act East policy of the Government of India, propounded by our beloved Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi, we are in threshold of an unprecedented transition when our Northeastern economy gets integrated into the regional economy. It is our meaningful engagement that can be the game changer. Today, 